I think anarchism in, in the 19th century in the United States tended to be urban, rooted in the factories, and largely immigrant. A lot of anarchists uh, had, and, and, and Marxists had come, or workers who came from, uh, who immigrated from Europe. And so it was, it was pretty proletarian, in the classic sense of the word proletarian, a factory worker. But as the United States has become a post-industrial society, I think especially after World War II and especially after the 60s, anarchism in the United States now is um, young, um, you know, 20-something, largely white, it's largely middle class, and its concerns tend to focus on questions of identity at least as much as it does on workplace struggles and uh, what you might more call classically uh, class issues. And in some ways that's, a, that's an advantage in that I think the anarchism today is, is much more broader and expansive, uh, provides a much more broader and expansive critique of society, a critique of hierarchy, a critique of, of oppression in all its manifestations, and I think that's I think that's a healthy development. What I what I worry about is that sometimes there's a in that focus on oppression in general or hierarchy in general, we kind of lose the centrality of capitalism and, and capital to how uh, as the centerpiece of how all the, how oppression functions and how how overthrowing capitalism is essential to building any kind of free society, and therefore focusing on, on class struggle is still important, even as we must recognize the broad matrix of, of oppressions that exist. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more focus on class struggle uh, in the United States, and I think that would help anarchism break out of its you know mostly young white middle class milieu.